This video is brought to you by Straight Goods News, Canada's alternative online news source. Visit straightgoods.ca. Merci beaucoup. I don't understand the politics here. Uh, what? It almost seems like a no-brainer to buy a Canadian plane. So, that's my first question. Second question is, how does this relate to the uh, the fiasco around F F-35s and the advice that may or may not have come from DND? or may have come from the cabinet, or we don't exactly know. Is there a relation? Yeah. Um, well, certainly considering the Made in Canada plans uh, is, in my view, a, a no-brainer. Um, and I wouldn't want to prejudge the, the result of a, a fully competitive tendered process. Um, and why have these plans not been included uh, so far uh, in that consideration? Well, I, I think that may have something to do with uh, the desire on the part of some people uh, to have a fleet that's capable of doing other tasks in addition to search and rescue. Uh, so, for instance, if you uh, go back and look at the procurement history for this project, you see a lot of talk about NATO cargo pallets and whether or not the planes can actually um, transport NATO cargo pallets. Um, now, NATO cargo pallets are not part of the search and rescue function. And so that discussion would seem to suggest that, that other considerations were, were front of mind. Um, we think that, especially now that the Royal Canadian Air Force has the four C-17s and the 17 new uh, Hercules uh, tactical lift aircraft, that any of that consideration about cargo capacity can be pushed entirely to the side and that we should be focusing on search and rescue here. Um, on the uh, relationship to the F-35, uh, we all know uh, that the F-35 has been a highly problematic uh, procurement. Uh, and uh, there, as in this case, um, we have seen uh, some narrowing of the requirements uh, so as to exclude um, you know, all but, but one aircraft. With regards to the, the F-35, you'll remember the, the letter from DND to uh, to uh, Public Works Canada saying that DND that, uh, &D needed a, a fifth generation fighter without defining what fifth generation actually meant. We think that, that there ha has been some relationship to the procurement of fixed wing search and rescue aircraft in that, again, here the requirements have been drafted in the past in an unnecessarily narrow way that excludes other, other aircraft from consideration. Uh, so let's avoid the F-35 type of fiasco with these search and rescue plans. Focus on what are our actual needs here in Canada and then have a fully competitive tender process with the Canadian-made planes uh, able to compete and demonstrate their, their capabilities. That's what we're asking for. We don't want to see a process that is skewed in favour of, uh, of more expensive foreign-made planes. Any other questions? Is the government showing a leadership on this or just letting the whole issue drift? Well, uh, as, I, as I said, uh, this procurement process to replace Canada's fixed-wing search and rescue fleet began when uh, Jean Chrétien uh, was Prime Minister. Uh, and uh, there was every expectation that we would have new aircraft uh, by 2005, and it's now 2012. So has it been allowed to, to drift? Absolutely. Um, and uh, in our view, this is unacceptable because uh, search and rescue is uh, an absolutely uh, essential function uh, for Canadians, uh, fulfilled primarily by the, the Canadian forces here in Canada. Uh, my colleague, uh, Stuart Webb, mentioned uh, uh, the, the tragic case of the, the Inuit boy in, in Labrador earlier this year. Um, all three search and rescue Hercules in Atlantic Canada were unable to deploy for mechanical reasons, mechanical reasons that would have been associated with the fact that uh, those planes are almost half a century old. Um, that's unacceptable. Um, we need to have new planes, we need to have good planes, we need to have planes that are specific for search and rescue. And if um, the Department of National Defense uh, confuses the issue by trying to load on other capabilities, the result is, is delay. And, and unfortunately, as we saw uh, with the, the young Inuit boy, uh, the, the very serious risk of, of loss of life. 
just a little more, please, on the, the politics of it. Uh, thinking again about the F-35, where it seems very clear that the Prime Minister's office or others in Cabinet had some kind of influence on DND's process. You've said that, you've suggested that there may be a political element here as well because of some desire for military operability. Mm -hmm. And is, so it kind of would be almost unfair to let DND take the rap, the rap entirely for these. Well, I, I mean, how do I say this? Um, the government is, this current government is not particularly transparent, so we're not sure exactly what went on. Um, what I can suggest, though, is that uh, fixed-wing search and rescue is not quite as sexy a procurement as stealth fighter jets. And um, that for political reasons, this may have not been a priority um, the last uh, five or, or ten years. Um, we're not actually talking about a, a, a major procurement here. Um, uh, Mr. Webb uh, mentioned the fact that, that some of the, the Canadian main planes are, are actually relatively inexpensive, uh, 15, 30 million dollars per aircraft. Aircraft that are already in commercial use in Canada so that the actual maintenance uh, process would be also uh, quite cost efficient. Um, you know, we're talking about uh, a couple of F-35 aircraft in terms of the total cost of replacing the whole fixed wing search and rescue fleet. So this is not a, a particularly big ticket procurement, but it's not one that 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 has been uh, all that uh, uh, high a priority because it doesn't carry the, the the same kind of media attention and therefore the same degree of public concern. I would suggest that as um, as it becomes more and more apparent that that Canadians are losing their lives because we haven't replaced the old planes, that that maybe this will become more salient in in future. I want to avoid that happening. Want to ensure that 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 D and D moves forward in a uh, in a, 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 a rigorous and expeditious way uh, to hold a, a, a competition and, and that these Canadian planes be part of the uh, consideration. Uh, they're very reliable planes, uh, they're low-cost planes, they're made in Canada, uh, and they may well be uh, the solution to what is a, a rapidly growing problem.